Welcome to Total Corruption Gaming with your host, Eric Talon87, to JJ McGillicuddy's Transporting Tycoon Empire, where the only thing better than money is more money. In this episode, JJ McGillicuddy and company will attempt to outfox the moral guardians of the prohibition and their police checks. Let's get started. He doesn't have any kids. And we're just going to turn the train around because we make a lot of money anyway on the product. And we're not going to sit around and wait for them to have more. Because it's not hard for the train to make a profit that way. Now what we got to be careful of is see, it seems like some of the moonshine, the square box, is being left here to be taken either to this station or to this station and then go out, yeah, see, go out on the train. So we got to watch these trucks when the police set traps. We got to check every one of them very carefully and make sure. A reliable source has paused. told us that the police has gotten wind of the moonshine business and is going to conduct targeted checks. Luckily, our source can tell us exactly when and where these checks will take place so we can make sure that they don't catch us. Okay. So, your trucks are really slow and in traffic they are at a huge disadvantage so on the open road they can generally exit a police trap before the trap closes but not in the city okay so this guy has got goods he's probably about to deliver them Okay, we'll let that guy deliver the goods. However, let's see, what about this guy? Uh, we're not going to take any chances. What you do is you switch him to another line, and then you switch him back. There we go. So now he's dumped the goods. Okay, anybody else in the police trap? Anybody about to be in the police trap? Sometimes you can scroll back, and it's easier to find your trucks. Okay, goods. Let's dump the goods. <laughs> Somebody on that street corner is going to be really happy. <laughs> like this residence right here is going to be really happy to walk out there and find a big old case of moonshine. Okay, and we'll have this guy. He's got food. And he's heading back. So we're okay for now. But remember, like any of the trucks coming in can pick up that case of moonshine and start going out. And so we don't want that to happen. So we're just going to make sure all our trucks stay out of this trap. That's our only purpose in life right now. Go that and make sure we stay under $10 million. Okay. No goods. Very good. Whoops. Let's see. So this is what I'm talking about. See, he picked up, he picked up some of that case. Where this is the green market. Go here, and then go back to the green market. Okay, let's check these other three trucks very, very carefully. They seem to be all empty. Okay. But now we don't want any trucks going in to pick up that case of moonshine. So. You've got to be careful. Even if the truck looks empty, it may, might just have like one ton in it. So. It's like, no, no, we're just a bunch of innocent drivers. Yep, all heading home from a long day of deliveries. Yep. Like some resident down the street said he found several cases of moonshine just dumped on the side of the road, but we don't we don't have anything we don't know anything about that. Lucky escape. The police didn't discover any of our vehicles. See that truck never had a chance to make it out. So don't take don't take chances with the police.
Uh, yay, Mac ACs. Three, four, five. Set them on the Chicago Ridge Runners because those are the ones that seem to be getting a. A reliable whoa, source whoa, whoa. has told us that the police has gotten wind of the moonshine business and is going to conduct targeted checks. Luckily, our source can tell us exactly when and where these checks will take place, so we can make sure that they don't catch us. Okay, dump the cargo. Get back on Ridge Runners. You turn around. Turn around. That's good. He's exiting the area. I think he'll make... Yeah, he should... Where is he? Yeah, he's right on the border. But this other truck... We want to turn around. Hopefully he won't clog that guy up too badly. Okay, and this truck we're concerned with. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Everyone get out! Okay, we're kind of cutting it close with the train, but I'm pretty sure he'll be unloaded before the 11 days are up. There we go. Train is empty. Don't let any trucks into this sector. Now see, this line can keep on working, so that's what's kind of cool. Okay, looks like we're in the clear. Lucky escape. Oh, right. At least didn't discover any of our vehicles. Okay. Before we so rudely interrupted. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See, this Indy, D, it's Indy who needs it. There we go. There's plenty of food here, so we'll get some more. We'll get some Mack trucks helping out with this, too. Three, four, five. Let's see. This is the legitimate market. Three, four, five. And a D. There we go. Turn around, guys. A reliable source has told us that the police has gotten wind of the moonshine business and is going to conduct targeted checks. Luckily, our source can tell us exactly when and where these checks will take place, so we can make sure that they don't catch us. Uh, okay. Okay, wait, wait, I see something here. Here's the circle. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. No boy, oh boy. All right, so let's see here. Okay, nothing. Nothing, he's fine. Nothing, he's fine. Okay, but these guys are making their way toward the depot. Or toward the terminal, so we gotta be careful with them. Gotta be careful with all of them. Okay, they're all coming in toward... This is food, uh, but we won't take any chances. Okay. It's empty. All right. There we go. Do to do. Do to do. Nope, we don't know nothing about those dumped crates of moonshine. We're just a humble multi billion dollar, a multi billionaire. Lucky escape. The police didn't discover any of our vehicles.
Okay, and since we don't really have to w worry about them checking our vehicles anymore... One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five... And I can't believe this guy, he's just not making enough. Okay, and also let's uh, maybe see if we can't pay to have the roads enlarged slightly. cost quite a bit of money to have these drive all the way out to Detroit and back without having, you know, delivered anything. What? Why have they turned around? They're just turning around again. This is defiance. Nope, and they just turn right back around. Oh well. Hmm. Yep, sometimes you gotta get creative with these guys. <laughs> and now they all go back. Okay. Okay, let's set up a new line here. Alright, a new line. From here to here. to Detroit. Can't wait to see what happens when that gets there. Okay, you know what? While we have money, we're going to crank up the production on some of these items. Because we don't have to wait for it to end to get a little bit of work done here. So let's set up some lines here. So line from here to here. Call this 
Oil. O one. <coughs> New line. From here. Oil. Zero three. And let's put our little depot here, since we will have some good traffic here. Okay, we get five trucks on each. One, two, three, five. four, five. Oil, oh, three. Okay. The money is slipping through what? our fingers, people. We'll soon be bankrupt. But if we're prepared to grovel on our hands and knees, our financiers will grant us a bridge loan. There we go. Got a little carried away there. Yeah, we're... We, oh, no. Don't tell me I can't get to the bottom of this. I know this should not be reported as a technical problem, <laughs> but that was almost that almost foiled our entire scheme for for my future plans. Okay, I thought that was the Indy Road. Okay, so be careful here when you upgrade. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got a nice road to everything. Okay. So now we say new line from here to Detroit. So we go fuel to big D. Fuel to the big D. Okay, new line from here to here. Okay. Fuel to Indy. Okay. New line from here to here. Okay, and this will be fuel. to Chicago. Whoops. Okay, let's get some trucks on that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get that fuel line fired up. traffic jam. See, this is why you get a four-lane road. So you can have traffic jams. There it goes. Yeah, see, it absorbs a lot more trucks when you have it all three. So we've had this on the real time because every moment during the prohibition really counts. So it does take last a little bit longer, but it's worth it. Wait till you see the result. You kind of got to see a preview there. Hope maybe we'll that out. But yeah, we'll see the preview. Okay. Yeah, what is taking so long here? There he goes. Ah, 47k. Not bad. Let's, let's see if we can't set up another line without, without triggering our debt warning. Okay. So new line. 
line from here to here and new line from here to here and we will say everything to raceway okay so with our humble budget let's see if we can get that some serious stuff going here one two three everything to the raceway okay we got that running okay good so that's to get the lines started up because it takes forever to get some of these product lines started up. <laughs> now that's transporting the moonshine. Okay, here we come. Yes. Finally, our sweat and blood and tears have generated the capital we need to invest in the automobile industry. Our friend William Durant is inviting us to be part of his company, General Motors. This <laughs> is an offer we cannot refuse. Let's invest now. Let's invest now, folks. Now. Our money has been invested. Now we just need to make sure that this investment pays off. That means people actually need to buy General Motors cars. The best advertisement for an automobile manufacturer is the glorious victory of its vehicle in a motor race. We should build a racetrack. Anyone who's ever witnessed such a spectacle will want, no, need their own cars. Need their own cars! Uh, you know, for that, we would need money. And since we had to invest half our liquided assets I'm not sure where we're gonna get anybody oh wait who are we kidding okay let's get our money start collecting our money folks two three four five it's like printing our own dollars six seven eight nine ten eleven four, twelve twenty six twenty seven 28 29 <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> We're going to need a bigger wallet. <laughs> this has been JJ McGillicuddy's Transporting Tycoon Empire, where the only thing better than money is more money. <laughs> On Total Corruption Gaming with your host Eric Talon 87. Join us again next time as JJ McGillicuddy and company build the racetrack that will help sell the General Motors cars they have so heavily invested into. See you there.